Hello and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor and our Iron Man challenge. As you can see right here, we have this fellow. He is rather bad tempered. His name is Duke Brennus and we will be attempting to smash him into the ground as much as we can. Anyway, I no longer have any of my vassals with me, so it is a pure one versus one in terms of army versus army. And we will be trying our very best to use this. Oh yes, the banner of his liege, no less. And I'm sure he's going to be exceptionally pleased to see it on the battlefield used against him. I mean, let's face it, wouldn't you want to see that? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you want to see your arch nemesis's a weapon in in the in the field uh, yeah. used by your opponent mm. yeah that's exactly what's going on so what we are going to try and do oh 132 versus 132 oh okay well, that's kind of that's going to be kind of uh, interesting i suppose i mean i have so many cavalry look at this i literally have 108 cavalry in my army at the moment let me actually just try this out oh oh it's actually fast look at that Look at how fast that is. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. Because I can imagine that even if I'm just standing here, boom, like that, that's going to do a lot of damage. Bear in mind that I don't necessarily have a very high amount of polearm proficiency. But for those of you that create knight-based characters or characters that in general use spears of some kind, then you're going to absolutely love this weapon. Now, uh, a little bit of news, actually about what has been going on in my off-screen time. It's only been about four or five in-game days because there's about to be an Oldor tournament. Thought it might be cool to participate in that because we're obviously going to be getting a Qualys gem. <laughs> uh, hopefully going to be getting a Qualys gem. Let's just rephrase that because as it stands, it's highly unlikely at this point that we're actually going to be getting anything like that, you know. I mean, it's it's literally been how many times now? I think we've done Noldor tournaments like 13 times or 14 times, and only one of those times I have gained a Qualys gem. And from my reckoning, I believe that it actually has a 20% chance to actually be the reward for the tournament. And uh, I have not gotten it in 13 attempts or 12 attempts or something like that. So that, that's pretty that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy bad luck on my part. But whatever the case, we're just going to try and defeat Duke Brennus for the moment. And then in a few days, we'll probably go over to the Nordor tournament. And um, the other update that I need to give you is that the Dashar have actually declared war against the Imperium of Iron. And they're probably going to try and attack us. But they haven't done so just yet, so we should be fine uh, for the moment, at the very least. So what I'm going to do here is not entirely sure, actually. I'm not entirely sure if I want to charge the opponent's cavalry, or whether I just want to allow my very limited ranged abilities from my forces here to uh, whittle them down a little bit. Because you can see here that a couple of people are getting a, a few kills. We've, we've only killed two so far but we could technically tell our guys to just charge in i guess that might be an idea let's get out my wonderful lance oh you're dead wow oh oh my yes i'm not going to be very good with this lance let me just tell you right now i'm not going to be very good with it because oh never mind maybe i am going to be decent oh that damage that damage I can't even believe it. I can't even believe how damaging that is. That is just insane. Okay, well, let's uh, let's continue to do some damage here with it then, shall we? Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, how about that? Oh, that guy. No, no, never mind. A little bit too... A little bit too overzealous, I think, on my part. I think that's probably what's happening here. Oh, nice. There we go. Yeah, i just got to get used to the timing. The timing is the main thing, you know. Because if you don't get used to the timing, it's going to be one of those things that you're just going to be like, Oh, well, you know, I did six damage like I did just there. And that's not very good. But uh, if you do end up charging through these guys as well, you're actually going to end up getting quite a few kills literally just from your wonderful horse doing massive damage. And that's pretty cool in itself. But unfortunately, it looks as though uh, Duke Brennus is actually eliminating a lot of our forces right now. Literally just because he has... Uh, Knights of the Lion. Yeah, he has Knights of the Lion and he also has Knights of the Ebony Gauntlet as well. And as we know, they are very good at what they do. 
they are very good at what they do. So it is going to be a bit... Uh, yeah, we're actually losing quite a few units. <laughs> ah, it's fine. It's not a problem. I actually do have around 70 noblemen uh, ready to be recruited from White Stag Castle. And as we know, they level up relatively fast into Pendor Knights. And then those Pendor Knights will be able to then become Iron Knights. And then as a result, we're just going to be unstoppable beasts once again so i'm hopeful that we'll be able to do something about that but as you can see this this is a lance right this is not actually a spear this lance is actually capable of doing so much damage i'm actually putting myself into uh, unnecessary danger situations here just literally because i want to test out the weapon as much as possible because bear in mind that i have taken off my bow uh, instead of the sword, because I thought maybe uh, it might be a little bit risky <laughs> to take off my sword, just in case, you know, because think about it this way. If I get dismounted, I'm only going to have a lance, which admittedly is the strongest lance in the game, the most powerful, but the point is, is that I don't really want to be without a sword in a close quarter situation, because someone comes up on us, gets really, really close in our face, it's going to be kind of difficult to uh, do any damage with such a long weapon. But who knows, maybe because of the pneumatic attack that it actually has, because, I mean, you could see here, listen, look at how fast it actually attacks. It's really cool. Anyway, as you can see right here, we did mostly lose heretic worshippers and heretic magni, which is really not a big deal. That is not a big deal, because they are free units, basically. And very, very uh, nice to have. That is a, an, it's a nice bonus to have them, but uh, losing them, not, not such a big deal. But there you go. I did manage to kill 15. I probably would have killed more if I had maybe attacked with my sword. Maybe, maybe. But uh, yeah, anyway. This guy, he's bad tempered, right? I'm thinking I'm actually going to take him prisoner. I know that this goes against my honor gathering mission, but uh, he is kind of annoying with the amounts of units that he has in his army. He actually has some really, really good ones. High quality units most of the time. And he also has the ability to field... Ah, well, it actually showed me the uh, the uh, company the company size, but uh, it was about 300 or something like that. I don't really want to fight that guy again. So I'm actually going to take him prisoner for the moment. And then we will let our forces just select whatever they want to select. They don't want anything, apparently. So I guess I'll just leave everything alone. But we will be taking these seer favorites, heretic minions, heretic worshippers. I actually really like that, um, I think in a previous version of Pendor, the heretic minions did not level up. Or was it the heretic worshippers? I'm not entirely sure which one it was, but I know that one particular kind of unit from the heretic line did not level up into its next upgrade so you weren't able to actually get those i think it was worshippers actually worshippers into magni i don't think that they were actually able to do that so it's really nice that they have changed that because that makes a huge difference to uh, how much power you can actually gain from the heretic line now and you can actually if you wanted to if you're actually kind of good at rescuing those guys you could field an entire heretic army if you get super lucky but anyway there you go nice victory for us right here we're actually right outside malians and uh, we're gonna go and uh, i'm gonna actually just check to see whether i can go inside here maybe there's a ransom broker or something no there won't be a ransom broker but that's absolutely fine we're just gonna buy i don't even need to buy anything huh yeah i did just uh, resupply a little bit so I guess that's actually helping us quite a bit. But anyway, I think it's probably a good idea to go back to Laria. Do have quite a few prisoners here. Salian is, of course, still fine. There are the three seers. We do not want to deal with those. Seer favorites, they have 91 of them. They have 34 doom guides. And they have over 2,000 units. <laughs> and we thought Igrim the Devourer was going to be a problem. No. Those guys are much, much more difficult. But there you go. It seems like uh, the Dashara are attempting to take Salian, which is absolutely fine. Very understandable for them to do something like that. But that is not really going to result in much, in my opinion. So we are going to level up Alyssa here. I feel like she probably doesn't need any more strength. 
And I'm thinking that, you know, I'm going to get her to 30 strength because that's just going to be the thing that we want her to, to get to so that she can actually max out her Iron Flesh and Power Strike and so on and so forth. And otherwise, we'll just continue leveling up our other friends here. I did manage to rescue some seer, fav seer favorites from that particular fight with Duke Brennus. And I also did get uh, some seer favorites from somewhere else. Just a random fight that I uh, participated in. So anyway, we are going to head back to Salian real quick. Bear in mind that I will be attempting to attack some of the Dashar, but I think for the moment, my best thing that I can do is probably try and eliminate Salian itself. So that means going to Avondor and seeing what I can do about it. And I'm hopeful that I will have enough time. That's the thing, Avondor is a siege tower, and that's going to take a very, very long time to... Ah, oh, they're actually going to kill Oberst Heinrich? Ah. Oh. I really wanted to attack him, but unfortunately, I just didn't have the uh, didn't have the units really. Yeah, is he uh, is he actually going to be defeated right there? Do you think I can get to him in time? Mm, no, <laughs> no, I can't get to him in time, as you can quite clearly see. Right? Okay. Well, that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was really close. That was way too close for my liking. Wow. If they had decided to, if they were a little bit more on the ball, they would have absolutely destroyed me because they could just go into a battle with me right then and there and just be like, okay, so let's do this. And uh, I would have been kind of dead, you know, kind of dead. I mean, it would have maybe been quite a difficult battle for them, maybe. But, uh, yeah, anyway, let's just wait here for some time and see... Mm, yep, they're running away. As is to be expected. If uh, the liege of your opponent decides to go into the garrison of the place that you're trying to siege, it's more than likely you're probably you're just going to give up, which is great. Really, really great for us. Okay, so uh, that's, that's great. Okay, so that means that I should probably go over to the Noldor tournament now because what we're going to need to do after that is besiege Avondor... Salian is offering us a peace agreement. I don't really want to do this because I have Duke Brennus in my prisoner's hold. I'm going to say no, uh, even though the right to rule would actually be quite nice because I think the right to rule I have at the moment doesn't allow me to get the highest tier mercenary companies. But if I had taken that it would have maybe given me the opportunity to do so. Anyway, we're just going to put Duke Brennus into the prisoner's hold here at Laria. He can stay there for as long as he wants. I mean, it is a wonderful resort of, of, of all kinds of wonders. And yeah, he's going to get a wonderful drink every day. And well, you know, some mead, I guess. What, what, whatever, whatever he drinks. So whatever he drinks. And we're just going to move on to the Nordor tournament now. Wow, now look at this. Salian really, really wants Duke Brennus back. And now if I needed cash, I'd probably consider taking this. And uh, to be fair, I actually kind of do still need cash because I am actually losing money again every single week for some reason. I guess it is just because I'm continuing to level up units and they are then, you know, absorbing much more of my cash over time. But I'm actually going to be rejecting that. We do lose honor, unfortunately, as a result of that, but we do have quite a lot of honor as it is. I don't even know how much right now, but the point is, is that we have a lot. Oh, and the Fierce Vein are declaring war against us. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. I'm not actually looking forward to that whatsoever. As you can see, a number of our people are actually getting taken prisoner. And what... Are you serious? My morale is now... Uh, I'm going to very quickly go over to Laria and just improve my uh, my morale. All right, so as you can... Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, Ravenstern. Uh, that, that's actually kind of good. I don't know whether you... Um, whether you saw that, I think you probably did. But uh, yeah, actually, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you right here. Look at this. Avondor has been taken by the Ravenstern. And they are basically our only allies at the moment. But, well, not allies, but, you know, they're our only neutral party in the game right here. Because these guys, 
They're not at war against us. It's great. It's very nice of them. But they are at war against Salian, and they actually took Avondor from them, which I gotta say is very kind of them. Let's just say that, because I was not looking forward to taking Avondor whatsoever, but now we don't have to, and Salian is no more, or they will be no more in a short span of time. But otherwise, we have the Dashar and we have the Fjordsvein against us. The Fjordsvein have actually quite a lot of territory still, and the Empire is obviously still milling about a little bit here. But we're going to be concentrating on the Dashar next. And I will try and probably take Shaquilla or something like that, maybe Torba, it really depends. Ishkoman would be the logical choice because it is the closest to our territory, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to place a bet on ourselves and we will see if we can win the Nordor tournament. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this, to be fair. I actually don't even have a shield, so I'm not, sure, not entirely sure why I'm blocking or anything like that. Oh, hello. I'm just running around randomly for the moment, which is actually not exactly great. I was hoping that I could maybe uh, eliminate someone. One of you guys? Yes, there we are. That's all I needed. Thank you very much. I'm just going to try and skip ahead if I can, because I don't really want to be put in a position where I might very well get murdered. And, ah, hello. I'm being put in a position where I might be murdered. Yes, very much so. Uh, okay, okay. This is, this is actually going much better. Ah, uh, kill him. Kill him, yes. There we go, he's almost dead. Okay, my team wins. My team absolutely wins, like no one's business right there. They really did carry me in that particular fight. All right, four teams, three fighters each. Let's see if I can maybe murder that with a headshot. Nice, double headshot, very nice indeed. Now let's get another. Nice, nice, okay, that's it. I'm done, there we are, very nice. Four teams with two fighters each, I have a horse, which I am very pleased to use. And there we go. That's our first kill. And now I can take my time a little bit. Bear in mind that... Oh, I'm shooting my own guy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, that was not intended by any means. Ah, no, no. Ah, he, he, he blocked it. Did you see that? He blocked it right at the end there. That was not exactly great. Oh, this is also not exactly great. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay. Uh, did I did I eliminate two already? I think I already eliminated two, but I'm just going to get out my boat anyway. Oh, and apparently murder him. That was also not intended. I was very, very lucky there that he did not raise his block. But oh well. All right. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Shoot that guy. Shoot that guy. Ah, no, no, <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. No, don't die, please. No, you idiot. Ah. Oh. That's, that's, that's what my teammates say whenever I die, isn't it? Okay, come on. We can get him. We can get him. I've got a good, I've got a good proficiency level, you know? Or not, as the case may be. Ah. Uh, yeah. We've been eliminated, but that's fine. As I say, it is for a Qualys gem, but you can't win them all, even though I have actually won 100% of the Nordor tournaments in this series so far but uh, there are some times when you're just not going to be able to and uh, it just it just doesn't happen Archon Brutus hello what are you doing there oh it seems he's running through the Noldor forest very nice indeed to see him here anyway as I said before not a big deal even though it would be wonderful to get a Qualys gem but I guess we will just have to wait until next time we just really got very unlucky with my teammate choice because the guy also had a bow, and usually those guys are really not very good in close quarters situations, and that kind of gave us a pretty significant disadvantage, considering the opponent had a two-handed sword, as well as a sword and shield guy, and uh, they were going to make the most the most problems for us. All right, so Salian is once again under siege. Let's go back there and see what's going on. Archon Gallus, very nice. Most of my... The vassals, by the way, are running around with a, at least 200 troops, which I gotta say is extremely impressive. I was not anticipating them having so many. Let's go in here, there we go, and now I'm gonna have to be a bit careful with my, uh, with my morale. So, oh, 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 okay, I really don't have anything, do I? Okay, this is really bad. 
Yeah, that that Nordor tournament, that whole Nordor tournament business was really not very good. Ravenstern coming to the rescue once again, declaring war against the Theodsvein. These guys running away once again as well. Very nice. Okay. I'm actually unsure what to do, to be fair. Oh, what is this? Eunomia Stabilitas, first in rank amongst the hierarchy of the Pendor gods, warn you, Chosen One, you're, you face many dangers ahead. Well, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I know that, but thank you. I appreciate it. Because uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going up against some pretty hardy units. All right. I guess the best thing that I can do, go to Singar, buy some drinks for my guys, and uh, try and make them into as happy people as possible before we actually head on. Try and buy some additional food as well, because we're actually running really low on that. And the olives are not going to do anything for us, which is going to be pretty bad. And uh, yeah, let's just speak to this guy. Hello. And uh, we're just going to get two, I guess, two of those. And then we will go over to Ishkoman and try to take it. So I'm going to try and take it without a campaign. But it might very well be that it is required. Oh! What are you doing? What are you doing here? It seems like they, they chase this guy down. Are you serious? Okay, apparently I'm going to have to go to Shaquilla and change my plans. I was not anticipating that they would be right there. Hmm, interesting. I might want to just go to Windholm straight away. Uh, this is a ladder car, so it's going to take six hours. Hmm. I, I actually feel like an intelligence-based build for your own character is probably going to be better in every single aspect, maybe except fighting dependent on what you actually want to do because if you have 10 in engineering and first aid and surgery and all that stuff then you then you as the player tend to get plus four to your maximum amount and, where, and because that's 10 you usually have 14 in all of those skills and uh, that's obviously going to make all the difference in terms of engineering you know you're Ladders are going to be built in like three or four hours, and the siege tower is going to be built even faster as well. So it's really good. But, well, whatever the case, that's not really a, something that I am too bothered about at the moment, as we are going to be heading in here. And, oh, we're going to die. <laughs> we're going to die here. I have a bad feeling about this place. As you can see, there's actually archers behind us, and there's archers in front of us. Oh, and also, is there actually a... Where's my baggage? Where's where's my baggage? I don't think I actually even have baggage, do I? I'm going to have to retreat, which is bad, I know. I know I'm going to have to retreat here because I actually forgot to re-equip my bow. And my bow is extremely important in these sieges, that is for sure. So we're just going to go back in there and uh, then see what we can do. Thankfully, the opponent did not decide to sally out, and now the sky is a dismal grey rather than the wonderful blue that we had previously. So now I'm, now I'm kind of annoyed at myself for forgetting to equip that bow, but oh well, never mind. Oh, nice headshot. Mm. Now that's exactly also a bit of an issue. Did not get attacked once in the previous time, and now I'm getting attacked, of course. Isn't that always the way of things? It is. Indeed. Okay, so I think this is a pretty safe corner for me to kind of stand in. And I will try and do some damage from here. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. If they fall off from here, there's no way they're going to survive. I mean, only 22 damage? That guy only took 22 damage from the fall? That's actually kind of interesting. I would have expected him to take much more. Seems like a very large height to fall from. But I guess, uh, you know, what can you do? Okay, so let's just tell them to stand a little bit closer here as well. Bear in mind that the opponent is outnumbered by us. We do have more troops than they do. But of course, they do have the defensive nature of the castle itself to give them all kinds of advantages. Wow, there's actually a lot of people behind us as well. This is really quite... A fiendish layout. I know I've said that about a whole bunch of different fiefs that we have besieged so far, but I feel like this one might actually be one of the best. I'm gonna just stand here, see if I can maybe eliminate some people going up the stairs there. There we go. And anyone else over there?
There are a couple of people over there in the battlements, but I think we're doing all right so far. I'm thinking maybe we just want to charge in. It seems like most of the enemies are just spearmen and uh, various other lo well, longbowmen, shortbow, you know, regular bow people. So it would probably not be too bad for us to go in there. Oh, hello. Yes, please shoot me from behind. I absolutely love that, especially shooting me in the... Well, in that area. Yes, great. Very nice. <laughs> uh, it's very good for them to do that, isn't it? Okay, so I'm basically, because this is the Iron Man challenge, I unfortunately will probably not be able to do that much unless I retreat and go back in, and I don't really want to do that, all things considered, because, let's face it, I've already done that once due to my own negligence. Uh, so it's probably something that I'm going to ignore for the moment and uh, I will try and get some long range kills but that's not really working out too well either. Yeah, usually what I'd do is if I had a good amount of HP I'd go up there right now and uh, I'd probably try to get inside the battlements and do some damage from close range but uh, it seems like we're probably not going to be able to do that. Maybe I can uh, pilfer a, a, a quiver or something. Anyone have a quiver? No one has a quiver, are you serious? Ah, the shot arrows. Did, did, I, did I actually pick those up? Are those bolts? I'm actually unsure. They might actually be bolts. That would be pretty bad for us. Okay, well, how, how are we actually even doing here? Because I need to, I need to check on my uh, casualty report. All right, so we're actually not doing too badly. We've killed 103, which I think is decent. They have 250 in total, and we've only lost 22, which I think is okay. Uh, if we could just m get a little bit of a foothold on the battle... Oh, oh, we might actually be doing it. We might actually be doing it. This is good. I'm going to take these arrows. Thank you. And, oh, look at that. Yes, the left side. The left side is going very nicely. Okay, please don't shoot me. That is all I ask. <laughs> Just don't shoot me right now. I'd be very appreciative. There we go. Yes, very good. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, maybe I can shoot from here. Yep, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assist them a little bit. I'm just gonna play more of a supporting role rather than the main killing force in the siege and it seems like it's going great wow i'm actually surprised i i guess uh, going straight in and charging against units that are primarily as i said spearmen and archers are uh, that's usually a good way to go because of course spearmen can't really fight in close quarter situations and archers well they're not exactly great in close quarters in general so you know, spearmen are great on the fields of battle, of course, you know, when you're up against cavalry and things like that. I've got to say, I really love this uh, this siege layout. I mean, I, th I think it's fiendish for the attackers. I think the, the attackers are going to have a really hard time breaching this, like we had. But uh, I think it's probably... Uh, it, it's, it's really fun to kind of, like, run through the streets and things. It reminds me very much of Gekko Kujo. And Gekko Kujo is uh, probably one of my favorite mods because it literally, the uh, the mod creator from the very first version had all kinds of ideas and took feedback from the community and everything and then he changed it to be exactly what people wanted out of that kind of mod. And that not that what mods are all about? You know, getting that community feedback and changing them to what you think they should be like and, uh, you know, following a, a certain vision. And that is exactly what Gekko Kujo turned out to be, where you're actually running through the streets of the various siege maps, and you are fighting, fighting tooth and nail, you're fighting, and it's just so great, because then you see the reinforcements flowing in from their barracks or wherever it may be, and it's just got a huge, wonderful immersion atmospheric factor to it. It's really, really nice. And that's, that's kind of what this reminds me of right here, because you can see there's like two different areas like there's this where the attackers initially go in to attack and then you have the secondary uh sort of like fallback point and i think that's really cool so i i want more of these i think that the, the this kind of this kind of castle is really really fun to fight in even if you end up losing a whole bunch of units 
I don't really mind because it's a lot of fun and it's entertaining to actually fight here because look at this there's another there's another layer you know it's like an onion you're just peeling away the layers and it's just like okay so that first layer oh, oh okay well that's absolutely fine and then the second layer comes and then you're just like what what happened i just lost 50 units because they did x thing whatever it may be and that's the kind of thing i'm talking about with these really i gotta say i feel like this is probably one of my favorite sieges i think it's really cool yeah, I, I like this. I, I like anything that kind of promotes a huge amount of mobility, because in the in comparison, what you know, if you if you go and look at native, for example, because of course native's siege combat is not exactly the most riveting thing ever. But the point is, is that if you look at native and you look at the siege combat there, it's basically two forces fighting over a ladder. And that's basically it. And the, and you're just like, well, why didn't you bring a spare ladder? You know, why why didn't the attackers bring a spare ladder or bring um, a whole bunch of ladders? You know, I mean, you have a whole bunch of time to prepare for the siege, and then in the end, you're just running around with one ladder. You know, it just doesn't really make sense. But the point is, is that they are obviously going to be changing that. They're going to be improving that as we go into the next iteration of Mountain Blade. And that's going to be fun. That's going to be real fun. Or at least I hope it's going to be. I hope they're going to make sure that the siege combat is engaging, you know. And as I've spoken about many times before, I think I spoke about this back in uh, probably like 2014 or something like that, when I was doing one of the original Perizno series, uh, I was speaking about how Bannerlord should include destructive environments so that you can actually use catapults and whatever else kind of destructive siege equipment to destroy the wall and actually make a hole in that wall and then be able to enter that with your with your units that, that that's what i spoke about in 2014 and uh i'm hopeful that maybe uh, maybe you know maybe tailworld saw that who knows i mean it was pretty late in the series so it's unlikely but the point is is that it was there anyway my idea to have that destructive environment i mean it's kind of what everyone wants isn't it you know being able to destroy the wall of a castle or something like that i mean it's pretty hard to do that in general i mean a very thick castle wall is going to be taking a huge pounding from huge amounts of catapult fire and still not going to really take that much damage so you know there's a lot of different opinions on that i guess but otherwise there you go we actually did manage to take this which is really nice I'm going to take some more priests, even though they're not exactly the greatest units ever. But we will be taking the adventurers, heretic worshippers, heretic magnus. Oh, maiden adventurers as well. Wow, How, what did I do to get so lucky here? Very nice. I'm not going to take any... Mm, should I? Uh, I'm going to take some storm sisters because they are actually part of the knighthood order of the kraken, as far as I remember. And I guess we might as well take some clerics as well, just in case. And as I said, I don't really want to take any Feards Vein because they are going to reduce my morale even more because we're currently at war against them. So instead, I will just take some mercenary sharpshooters, I suppose, and then we'll just take the rest there. And there, there we go. That is exactly what we wanted to do. All right, so now I'm actually going to be giving this to Archon... Archon Fouchier, I think... Now, we are having some issues here with these guys because uh, some of them are marshals, uh, martial personalities, and they need to, uh, yeah, they need to get some additional fiefs for them to stop complaining. So I will try to continue giving them fiefs, but then if they decide to, uh, you know, defect, then we're going to be in some hot water. So we'll see how that goes. But otherwise, there's the situation. Torba is probably going to be our next target. And then Ishkoman after that, if we don't have any other units attacking us or anything like that. But Ravenstern has been an absolutely fantastic ally in in this situation, because otherwise I would have had to have faced the Fearsvein, the Tshar, and Salian all at the same time. But now Salian has been eliminated. I no longer have to worry about them. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.